welcome again to my channel. Today we are going to talk about another very very important AIP recipe. This is going to be a store in recipe. So whenever you are in a rush and you wanted to add it to your dishes, you can definitely do it. This is in the place of other spices. As you all know, AIP does not allow certain herbs and spices for their dieters. But we can still enjoy the same food that you always enjoy without the added extra spices that is not allowed in the diet. But let's get started. Today I am going to show you guys how to make your very own AIP Paleo curry powder. This curry is something that you can store in your fridge or store outside. It depends on how long you are going to use it, right? Then you can use it for your curries, you can use it for your rotis, pratas as an add-on and I will show you how to make it. Let's get started. Alright friends, let's get back to the ingredients. This one has a little bit more than our usual ingredient list but uh, this is just like one time every week. I um, Every week I mix these in and I store it in a mason jar or any kind of uh, a sprinkle jar like this uh, so it is easy for me to just open it and uh, just sprinkle it on my curries or um, my stuffings or anything that we use for and uh, there are so many AAP recipes that uh, we already have in my channel and more to come. So I have this um, empty bottle like this. Do not throw these bottles. Uh, this is basically a parsley um, parsley bottle but I am still keeping it uh, for my future use and this is a glass bottle that serves as a mason jar for me and uh, like I said it also has uh, the uh, the lid that has the holes in it I don't know what you call it uh, but uh, yeah so it, this is very compatible to use in our kitchen especially for sprinkling purposes so let's get back to our original ingredients over here I have the dry ginger powder this is organic I have organic ground mace and this is organic cilantro this is organic garlic powder actually this is cilantro um, flakes uh, so it is not actually a powder which is even better for our purpose today and over here I have the ground clove ground cinnamon powder and I have the uh, kasturi methi which is uh, called the fenugreek leaves right and then I have the organic turmeric powder and of course there is a measuring spoon and the uh, storing uh, the storage bottle now let's get started what I'm going to do is I'm just going to store everything in this so I'm not going to worry too much about transferring from another jar so let's make some space over here I am going to take the um, turmeric first and as you all know the medicinal values of turmeric which is anti-inflammatory and there is more in the description box if you have not viewed that just scroll back or rewind it and then look at them one more time. This, the time that you spend in that is very beneficial. So I added 2 tablespoons of turmeric powder. It's better to use a different uh, spoon so you don't mix these ingredients but uh, for me it's fine. 2 tablespoon of dry ginger powder can't even begin to explain the medicinal properties of ginger which is also anti-inflammatory and I'm going to use 2 tablespoon of garlic powder for that I'm just going to open this lid and I'm going to go inside if you're not comfortable putting right into your uh, storage jar you can definitely use a Use a mixing bowl. Okay, there we go. If you don't want too much spicy, you can reduce the garlic powder to one tablespoon. So we have added two tablespoon of turmeric powder, two tablespoon of garlic powder, which you can reduce to one tablespoon for sure. And I have added two tablespoon of dry ginger powder. I have taken a plate like this and I'm just going to put uh, the uh, storage jar on top of it. So if it spills, we can still use it. And I'm just going to take cinnamon, 2 tablespoons of cinnamon powder. You can always adjust to your flavoring taste uh, if you want to reduce some ingredients or increase some ingredients for sure. And for clove and mace, I'm only going to use half a teaspoon because it gets really spicy. So I'm just going to take half. If you are very particular about a measuring spoon, definitely use the spoon. So, so. There 
a half of it. And for the rest of the ingredients, the kasturi methi, which is a fenugreek uh, leaves, which I got it from the Indian stores and transferred it to the um, mason jar over here. Okay, we're going to use two tablespoons of cilantro leaves. Two tablespoons of cilantro leaves over here. I'm going to open this. So this is uh, like the leaves. So either you can crush it or you can powder it. I don't recommend powdering it because it's going to give you that fungi taste. But um, you can definitely use a stick and uh, kind of uh, mush it a little bit. That's all I would do for that. And then for our fenugreek, I'm going to add one tablespoon. And the cilantro leaves, I have added two tablespoon. This is one tablespoon. And you know what you can do? You can also crush it in your hand like this. You know, for uh, if you're going to use it. But um, I like it like this. And I'm going to go ahead and pour it in here. Yeah, voila. There you go. Yeah, the rest of the... This tube here, I'm going to put it in and then it is really clean. You can use a paper towel to clean it as well. And here we go. I'm just going to close this upper lid, the sprinkler page, and then I'm going to close it. Now I'm going to shake it vigorously. If you're not so sure you want to mix it properly, you can definitely use a fork or a paper knife to mix it in. But here we go. Wonderful. I store it for like a week. You can also double or triple or quadruple the recipe and keep it for like two weeks. Nothing happens to it. Especially the dried cilantro leaves that I'm worried about. So I usually make it fresh and mix it in. So that way it is easier for consumption and it is very quick when you're starting to do your AAP or any kind of curry powder that you need right away. Here we go. Our very own AAP Paleo curry powder is ready for use. I will see you guys in the next video.